I'm Sarah. I'm a behavior specialist here at Chimp Haven. Today we're going to be doing some positive reinforcement training, which is a great way that chimps can participate in their own medical care as well as build uh, relationships with trainers. We use PRT or positive reinforcement training to be able to um, ask the chimps to um, do a behavior such as giving their arm, their hand, um, and then that builds us up to um, bigger medical behaviors such as injection training or cardiomobile for their um, heart health. So we do this through small steps and lots of food. Um, for doing something like giving a pre hand presentation, I'll give them lots of food, there'll be a click sound, um, and all that encourages them to continue training with us. It's completely voluntary, so if they don't want to participate, that is completely fine. You'll see behind me that we have some mesh separating us from the chimps. That is for their safety as well as ours. Um, another safety measure we have is that I'll be using this long-handled spoon. Um, this helps me get closer to the chimps without actually um, putting my fingers in with them. Um, and that's a great way that we're able to um, learn behaviors and kind of point to exactly what we want. Another item I have is a target. So this is just a PVC pipe with a cap glued on the end. It's painted blue just for pizzazz. Um, the goal of this is that the chimp is going to touch the blue part with their finger or their mouth. Um, this is a great way that we can get them to move around or just an easy starter behavior for the chimps. So in front of us we have Paula Jean closer to the camera. We got Jill, Sonia, and Pierre. Um, I'll be training with Sonia first. She's this larger lady. She's pretty good at training. Well, there's her little target. So I'm going to give her some lemon lime flavored water for that. Um, but we also don't separate out to train, so everyone who's hanging out with us is going to get a little something. Hand. Miss Sonia. Hand. Great job. Give her some almonds for that. She has really long fingers, so we just want to be careful with safety reasons. And Jill is wanting some almonds as well, so I'll give her some. Arm. Something like an arm behavior is really helpful for injection training. Um, so that can be helpful if we're doing, um, if we need to give them injectable medications or for sedations for um, an exam. Um, so asking them to voluntarily present their arm and then we can build up slowly with using uh, like a capped syringe, um, a blunted needle so it doesn't hurt them um, and work up to something like a tiny little needle and then up to a bigger needle that we'd use for real. Um, and all of that is with um, what they're comfortable with and moving at the pace that they want to go at. Miss Sonia. Injection training can make um, things like sedations and injections um, less stressful um, and less scary for them because they know what's gonna happen. And they know that there's big treats happening. Uh, we usually give them things that they really like, like fruit snacks uh, when they do something like that. Miss Sonia. Head. Head. Good job. That head presentation can be helpful for um, doing something like a head temperature reading. Um, so I have a thermometer here, but we're not going to do it with Sonia today. Nips. Good girl. Target. And to finish off the session, we'll give her something extra special, like fruit snacks. Just to finish this up on a strong note, make sure that she had a really good time. There you go, Paula. You can see that she has really big hands. And she loves the fruit snacks. We're all done. Thanks so much for joining us and have a great day.